Hi, Keith Scott from Back to Form Fitness. Today I'm going to talk about low back pain and I'm going to give you some exercises, some tips to help you deal with your low back pain. I get a lot of people that come in and see me because their lower back hurts or they have stiffness and there's a couple things that I do with these clients to help them really eliminate a lot of the stiffness and the pain that they feel in their lower back. I'm going to show you a couple exercises that you can put into your daily routine that should help you eliminate a lot of the stiffness and pain that you're suffering. So watch the video, check out the exercises, try them, and let me know what you think. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the foam roller on your lower back. A lot of people don't like to roll their lower back because they don't have a lot of meat down there and it can hurt their spine or cause some bruising. I'm going to show you a tip that I use with my clients that can eliminate any of that bruising or pain on their spine and still dig around that area where your back feels tight and help eliminate some of those problems. What you're going to do is just take the foam roller against the wall and what you're going to do is just slowly roll. Make sure you position the foam roller on your, right on the spots and you're just going to slowly roll and as you do you're going to put a little more pressure basically doing a small squat and you're going to do a little bit of pressure on your back as you're leaning back. And what I like to tell people to do is just kind of lean to the right side first and you'll feel it right on the side of your spine. You have some muscles, some tightness and just dig in, put a little pressure on there. I'm not putting any weight on my spine itself. It's to the side on the muscle groups. I'm going to spend some time on the right side and then over here I'm going to spend some time on the left side. Rolling each side individually, putting pressure on those spots where I can feel some tension and really pressing in if I feel a good, a good knot there, again to the right and then back along the whole back. Just by doing this little technique you're going to help to loosen up those knots and, and hopefully the knots will start to go away, you'll be able to increase motion and a lot of the pain will go away too. The next exercise I'm going to show you, actually two exercises are stretches to the hip area that can really affect the lower back, help loosen up any kind of the problems back there and more cases than not, you're going to feel better and looser after you do these stretches. They're simple to do. Combined with the foam roller, you can really start to see some relief. So the first one I'm going to do is, we call it a hip rotator stretch or a piriformis test stretch. But basically you're going to lay on your back, cross your leg over, and we're just going to slowly pull back on our lower leg. Now don't jerk this movement. You're just going to slowly pull back, and you should feel a real good stretch in your butt area and we're just going to hold it there. Now if you can't get your knee up that far because you don't have a good range of motion, don't worry. Just pull your leg up as far as you can and just rotate it slightly. Rotate your foot slightly to the inside and you'll still get the same effect out of that stretch. For those of you that do have a good range of motion, you want to pull in as far as you can and hold the stretch. Usually you want to hold stretches anywhere from 20 to 25 seconds to get a full effect of it. You're going to do both sides pull straight in until you can feel a stretch. The second stretch I'm going to show you is another good one for loosening up the glutes and the hip area and can really make a big big difference for stiffness down there. Basically all we're going to do is cross our leg over our body and this stretches some of the same muscles as the other one did. You want to make sure you keep your back flat. You don't want to twist your back. Keep it flat and we're just going to pull down on our knee and you should feel a nice stretch along here in the glute area on the side of your lower leg and maybe a little one in your lower back. Again, we're going to hold the stretch for 20 to 25 seconds, do the other side, and stretch those areas. Finally, to finish up this progression, you're going to take the foam roller back, back on the wall, roll both sides of your back again. The combination of the rolling and the stretching and then again with the rolling really has a dramatic effect on stiffness and low back problems. I've used this countless times with clients and athletes and it really does make a big difference. So give it a try, see how it feels, let me know what you think about the video and how it's worked for you.